Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up this screen. Oh, man. This is going to be a fun report card to do. We're going to be talking about Hinton Hooker and Hyatt and what a big, big win. I've calmed down a little bit from last night. I was a little bit fired up, to say the least. It was unbelievable. But uh, let's get into this thing. All right, folks, I told you what we were going to be like if we beat uh, Florida <laughs> and if we beat LSU, but now we've beat Bama, so it's really like this around Knoxville. Well, you just never know when another beast might come down out of the forest. <laughs> you understand, don't you, Thumb Lou? <laughs> Absolutely. You never know when another beast is going to come down to that forest. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. What a uh, most amazing game I believe I've ever seen. It reminds me a lot of that Auburn uh, kickoff return thing where they tried to kick the three points. It's kind of like uh, that kind of ending, that storybook ending. Just amazing against Alabama. Funny that it's against Alabama both times. And that's what happens when you're number one most the last for like the last 10 years. You know, people are going to have some storybook endings against you. And that's what happened with Alabama. I think they were in complete shock. And I'm actually going to do a video tomorrow and give you folks some, some rundowns on how Bama people are reacting to this game because they can't believe it. They have never seen their vaunted defense really shredded the way it was by Hen and Hooker and those wide receivers. And our look, we ran the ball on them too. We shredded them. I've never, ever seen Tennessee do that to an Alabama defense ever. And they were number one. They were the number one defense in the SEC, which means they're number one in the world. That's how that works. So they were in shock, and believe me, they're letting folks know they were in shock. And I'm going to show you some of that feedback, but uh, we're going to we're going to stick to the report card in this one. We're going to start out with the quarterbacks. Uh, well, the quarterback uh, Tennessee's Hendon Hooker, 21 for 30, 385 yards, only five touchdowns. What a shame! And then he had that interception, which was caused by pressure. What happened there? If you watched it, they were on his feet, and he couldn't go forward with his throw with his legs. So it made him throw it high, and that's his first interception in like, I don't know, 10 years or ever since he came to UT. Funny how a guy that wasn't good enough for, for Virginia Tech is now the Heisman Trophy leader. Isn't that funny how that works? Funny what happens when you've got a great coach that can uh, bring talent out of people and coach them up. So if you're a recruit out there and you're wondering, man, could I ever be great? You might want to come to Tennessee because we're taking people that were rejected by other colleges or were two stars or three stars, and they're going to be making tens of millions of dollars in the NFL. If you don't think Hinton Hooker's a first-round draft pick, you're crazy. And I see Hyatt going first round. I see Cedric Tillman going first round, and they're going to make a lot of dineros. You can count on that. So if you're a four-star or five-star, imagine what Heupel and his uh, crew could do for you. So, look, I'm just looking out for your best interest. So, you know, if I had a friend that was a four or five star, I'd be going, you need to look at UT because, man, can these guys coach people up. So, again, uh, five touchdowns, one interception, just 385 yards, plus he ran the ball. So that's an easy, that's an easy grade to give to Hendon Hooker, and here it is. Exactly. A plus, 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 plus. You knew that was coming. Now let's go to our wide receivers. Jalen Hyatt being uh, 207 yards and the five touchdowns. I don't know that I've ever seen a wide receiver have a game like that. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, Keaton had a great game, seven, uh, uh, five receptions, 78 yards. Brew McCoy only had two catches, but, man, he had a big one at the end. Woo! We don't win that game if he doesn't make that catch. That was huge. Princeton Fant had a good game. Running backs had a few catches. So for the wide receivers, here's their grade. And, by the way, the offensive line – Played great, absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, the running game, uh, we had 39 carries for 182 yards, which was like a 4.7 yard average, fantastic. The offensive line played one of the best games I've ever seen any of our offensive lines play. Uh, Hendon Hooker was back there having tea. OK, and having all the time he needed. Now, granted, he doesn't sit around with the ball in his hands too long, but he had plenty of time. It was not like that for Bryce Young at all. They, they were struggling. But um, Hinton Hooker had all day, and he was 
just absolutely picking them apart. It was kind of almost sad in a way, in a very evil way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was great to see how much time he had back there. And I just, look, they sealed him off. You know, Alabama's got like the best defensive player in the world. Um, what's that guy's name? I can't even think of his name. Give me a minute. I'll have to look. Is it Will Anderson? He was a world beater, you know, and just uh, he never touched him that I saw. He didn't really affect the game, and really he's a guy that can dominate a game. So our offensive line, they're obviously going to get an A++++. There's no question. I have no choice. Offensive line. So fantastic. Now let's take a look at our defense. You can see here um, – we only had one sack. We did have four uh, tackles for loss. Look, Bryce Young is a magician back there. They put so much pressure on him. I mean, he was running for his life the entire game. He got hit about 15 times and pretty darn hard almost every time. I mean, I don't know how. They must have had his arm uh, numbed up pretty darn good because he got hit a lot for a guy that was injured. He played a phenomenal game. I don't give grades to the opposition, but if I did, I'd have to give him an A++. There's no doubt. He played one of the best games I've ever seen a quarterback have and lose. That was the shocking part. He played good enough to win, that's for sure. Against any other team, he probably would have. But, you know, when you play Tennessee, you know, it's a little different world. And uh, I'm going to give the crowd <laughs> – I've never given the crowd a grade before, but I'm going to give our crowd this grade. Absolutely. A, but look, there aren't enough pluses for the crowd. They affected them in such a huge way. They had, what, 17 penalties, the most they've ever had. They couldn't hear themselves think. They were freaked out many a time. And that's the crowd. That was an amazing game and just a fantastic ending. And that's a, you know, pretty easy to do. And as far as the defense is concerned, look, I'm going to give y'all a rock solid A. I can't give you the plus, plus, plus because they did score a lot of points. They didn't score 49, they scored 42. But, you know, we ask a lot of this defense because we score so fast that we don't have the ball very much. You know, it's not for a long period of time, so our defense is really put under pressure. And they played a great game. We're back there with a uh, walk-on in the secondary because we're that thin. You know, our secondary couldn't be more thin. And really, the uh, defensive line stepped up in a major way. They played a great game. The defense gets a rock-solid A. And uh, I have no problem giving him that. I don't care if they did score a lot of points. Look, when you're going up against the Heisman Trophy winner and he has a phenomenal game, that he was literally like a magician. He was there one minute and gone the next. And I thought we had him several times and he would just do some move. And you just it's the same thing he did to Texas when that guy just had him dead to rights and somehow he did this little scoop around thing and wins the game for him. Well, he did that crap to us about five times. So I have no problem uh, giving this defense plenty of praise. You know, they played a really good game against a phenomenal athlete that he's going to make everybody look like crap from time to time. But overall, real good game. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that game as much as I did. It was absolutely fantastic, and I could not be more pleased. We're now 6-0, and and we're number three in the country, and our recruiting's really going to take off. You have no doubt of that. I mean, any kids that uh, were there and saw that game, and I believe we even got a recruit for 2024 already from this. Yeah, Mazio Bennett has already um, committed for 2024 as a four-star wide receiver. We're going to get a lot of commits. You know, we're the hot ticket. It's an amazing offense. It's The atmosphere is unbelievable. The crowd, everything is just incredible. The NIL money that we have. We're, I, we're going to be in the top five in recruiting by the end of this year. I have no doubt of that. I think we're going to pick up some four and five stars. And just um, we're going to be in the big leagues. We just need to make sure we get Josh Heupel locked up for about 10 years, and we're going to be just fine. We, we've got a lot of good years ahead of us if we can just uh, keep everything solidified. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the balls. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I've been doing this a few months. I could use some subscribers. Anyway, I hope you did like the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.